John Sewell with ingearment.com and this is the updated Mystery Ranch Gallatin Peak 40 liter backcountry ski and splitboarding backpack. Now previously i done reviews on the previous two generations of the Gallatin 40 liter backpack and I absolutely love them. Big fans of Mystery Ranch for a lot of reasons, durability, construction, and their carry system and adjustability. You can dial in the fit to fit you just right and it carries load better than any company I've worked with. And that's saying quite a bit. We work with a lot of great companies for backpack wise. So it's not the most lightweight. Nope, it never is for Mystery Ranch. But as far as durable, capable, and making whatever load you're carrying feel um, manageable and comfortable, they nail it. All right, let's get into the backpack. It's a 40 liter backpack. However, I feel as conservative. I feel it's more like a 45 or bigger because I usually use a 40 liter plus backpack and I have plenty of room to spare with this guy, which is always a nice positive to uh, over deliver and under promise on numbers. There's so many things to talk about with this backpack. It's simple. There's uh, the big main top pocket, the, the main chamber, Avi gear pocket, and an internal pocket within the, the main pocket. That's about it. And I'll show you all that here in a second. But it's just a well thought out, awesome backpack. It comes in two sizes. This is the large, extra large. For reference, I'm about a 20 inch back. And this has the adjustability to go from a range of 17 to 24 inches. Uh, that'd be 43 to 61 centimeters for people outside of the US. And how you accomplish that, it's a really thoughtful system. Just like in a lot of other Mr. Ranch backpacks, what you do. I'm going to unclip, boom, boom. And these clips are really nice, easy to use with gloves. And then I'm going to access the back stay. This guy right here. So if you look, at, he contours to your back. It's also a nice tool. You can use them for, for digging. I wouldn't use it for avalanche digging. Don't quote me on that, but it's a nice little accessory here. But it's also used to disengage the Velcro from the back panel so you can adjust the height to fit you. So now it's disengaged. I'm not gonna pull it out because I spent a lot of time meticulously fitting this to my back. But right now it is disengaged. I could pull up or I could push down on the back panel to adjust. That's how you do it. Spend some time doing it. It will make your day a whole lot better. While I have these unclipped, there's a really great feature with this is their quick access back panel. So a lot of backpacks have back panel access with a U zipper or a side zipper or a combination of zippers. This one is awesome. What I do, I grab the orange, disengage. I grab this orange now, and then I can rip open the back panel. And here is my three, li three liter hydration bladder. And then you can route the tube on either side, of course. And then I have access to the inside of my kit. My first aid kit, food, all the stuff right there. And it's nice and bright orange. So you can see it uh, contrast to the gear. I zip it back up. So that is a nice feature. And also, I oftentimes find that I don't access the back panel like that. What I'll do instead is I'll place some access items or items I want to have quick access to on the sides here. And I'll just come in on the side and be like, oh, okay, here are my snacks. Pretty simple, right? So when you think about it that way, it's not just a back access, it's dual side access. You can get your water or soup on one side and then uh, first aid kit or uh, repair kit on the other side or a puffy, whatever you want. It's just, you can you can really thoughtfully lay your stuff out. Load adjusters, of course. Like I mentioned, and I can't emphasize enough, spend time dialing it in and it will treat you well. So load adjusters right here. Um, so you can bring the pack in, out, adjust it accordingly to your, your size, your frame, and the load you're gonna be carrying. All right, big top pocket, nice, long pole right there very sizable pocket here swallows up my you know quick access stuff like volet straps fleece gloves a pair of sunglasses and all that there's actually another pocket right here that is kind of designed to handle like goggles and sunglasses and such however i use it to manage my smaller access items that are important i want quick access to leatherman tool for adjusting bindings and such, repair kit. So you can figure out how you want to use your pockets. I 
keep my sunglasses and goggles organized in a hard case that I have inside this backpack. And I'll be happy to show you that up here in a moment. All right, let's get into the main pocket. So, oh, and the material, I should talk about the material. It's very pliable, yet super burly and robust. Ripstop nylon woven through here and a waxed waterproofing going on, but it's nice and pliable. It's not as stiff as some other versions of this backpack I've experienced. All right, buckles again are easy to use with gloves on. It's not a typical feeling buckle. It's got a, it's got a very different dexterity to it, so you'll know when you click it open. The main pocket, nice and bright orange, so you can tell middle of a snowstorm, a blizzard, or different, uh, different conditions, you can see the gear against this contrasting background. Awesome, very well thought out. Like I mentioned, it's cavernous. It's a very large backpack. Here are my, I carry two sets of goggles. Inside I have my goggles and sunglasses, so that's why I don't have them in that pocket. So, you know, to each their own. And I mentioned I have a hydration bladder, three liters going on in here. There is this loop right here, so you can absolutely carry extra gear, pack it out, rope, stuff like that. I carry my hard um, boot split board bindings in here. That's the Phantom setup. Oh, while I'm here, very important, see the orange for safety? Avi gear pocket. Only thing that goes in here is my Avi gear. So, shovel, handle, probe, and saw. Now, as you can see, I've got plenty of room to accommodate whatever size probe. So if you're the Pacific Northwest and you have a even more robust probe, longer probe, it will accommodate it. It's a very substantial pocket. And of course, shovel blade. So those are the four things that go in there. You could put your snow study kit in there. Um, however, I, I keep mine in the main compartment. Robust buckle, just well thought out, easy to use. And, you know, like I mentioned, the durability is there and the way it carries the load is just fantastic. Uh, that's what Mr. Ranch does, one of the best things they do. Oh, and then helmet compatible, of course. So in here is a stowable helmet carry system. Go ahead and put it out because I will go from there a lap. Might as well get it prepared. Do, do, do. And there you go, you're carrying your helmet right there. As you can see on the side, adjustable leashes right here so you can carry your skis or split board and A-frame. Right now I have my uh, trekking poles packed up. You can, of course, carry diagonal and you can carry vertical. So I, I like that they include the cable management system. Really nice so you don't have excess flopping around. Can't say enough good things about the backpack. It's more than 40 liters, in my opinion. Um, it's Mr. Ranch durability, construction ability to carry a load, and it just, it works so dang well. It, I test a lot of backpacks. I test a lot of split boarding, backcountry skiing backpacks. And if you're willing to have additional weight, the Mr. Ranch backpacks are just extremely comfortable, and their ability to carry a load with ease is just second to none. Love them, they're great stuff. I'll put links below where to purchase. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing to our channel to keep up to date. Thumbs up would be appreciated. Um, got any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll get right back to you. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke of Engearment.com. And until next time, take care.